All right, guys, Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. You guys know we had this 75-gallon stack here, and uh, see this tank's empty. Well, first we can start off. We got this metal stand from one of our members on the, the group, and uh, this used to be a three rack for like inside of pet stores he cut it down to two i only needed it for double so i went ahead and i chopped the legs off there was about 12 inches of a leg sticking off so as you can see i just took my angle grinder and i basically just cut it off flat i did keep this bracing in there so you know the bottom of the stand don't flex and it also keeps the tanks up off the bottom of the fish room if i ever have a flood You've got about a half inch gap there so water can get under it and it'll be able to dry out. But on top of that, we're going to swap out this 75 gallon for this 110 gallon here. But as you guys can see, someone tried to reseal this tank and they did a very, very, very bad job. I'm not going to mention no names, but he did a nice job on the sides and the bottom. He kind of just looks like he just gobbled it, it in there actually i know who it is it's one, one of my, my good friends but i got this tank in a trade and he tried pulling a slick one on me he said oh the, the seams look great bro sent me a picture of the side then i get here and i'm like what is that he said i couldn't reach the bottom <laughs> so as soon as that tank's done draining i'm gonna go ahead and drain out this bottom 75 here this has the malabarcus wolffish in here and uh, that's pretty much the only thing in this tank because they are a mean evil nasty fish so I will be putting him over into the 30 gallon quarantine for now and bring in some uh, actually the 73 I'm sorry we're bringing the Giardini and tin foils over to here but we're gonna keep this black 75 with the black silicone on the bottom and I actually got rid of this double stand with the 75 on top that's gonna be on Saturday but over here, I did have to split up the Giardini arowana from the rest because my tiger fish did not like him whatsoever. So I got the Giardini over here with these two little tin foil barbs. He's healing up nicely. Oh, you guys can see. Now we moved some fish around in the 180. We brought all the Xanthic clown knives over into the 750. So now all four of my Xanthic knives are in here. There goes one two and three and then there goes number four and i have this one regular little itty bitty clown knife now actually there, there's four right there he's a big one but we did bring this uh cichlid over here my buddy joe actually donated her she did lay eggs but she's looking great but getting back over to here you can see that we moved all the fish out of this tank here. The tarpon joined the two other big tarpon in the 700. So we brought the Armadas up over here. We brought the Goliath tiger fish along with all the bleachers and the clown knives. Now we got, of course, we got the Tamensis peacock bass. We've got the female Serratus placo. And then we've got an Indodatinoid there. And then where is he? Oh, I can't find him. He must be hiding in there. There is a thin bar that noid probably inside of that terracotta pot there. And you guys can see up here this uh, Jurnese catfish is getting pretty damn big over in these tanks. Now we just added my uh, mom also likes these high fin banded sharks to go in with her, her koi eventually. Right now it's too cold. But uh, during the summer time I will put these out in the koi pond so she can have a little bit of variations we are going to get some sturgeon out out there and uh who knows maybe possibly a paddlefish but as you guys know there's big plans coming with the the koi ponds you know up into the tens and twenties and thirties of thousands of gallons but you guys will find out all about that here soon so uh stick around so while the other tank's draining we're going to go ahead and dismantle this tank we got the fubal fx4 sitting and the sponge filter and uh, we got to break it down. And down here we got this little, actually everything's just going to stay on this tank. I'll probably just disconnect the air hose and move the tank over piece by piece. All right, guys. So you see we took the tank off here. Now, this is actually a very simplistic design stand. We did not build it because we don't usually have the, 
the outsides like this because it sticks out, you know, four inches on each side. But if anyone's in a desperate need of a stand, you can always just take two by sixes, cut them to where you can have the size of the tank and then leave four inches overhang. And you can just strap a four by four to it on the top and the bottom. And uh, put a brace in the center, of course, to keep your sides from bowing out. And it gives you a nice little frame to set your tanks on. So, uh, Matt Gates, this is how you uh, build a stand, buddy. Here you go. You, you've been asking. All right, guys, so we moved the wood stand out. It's now out of the spot. Now, this stand's going to basically fold down. We're going to put that 75 right back up on the bottom. Then we can go ahead and bring this 110 over. We've got, uh, <coughs> there's probably about an inch or two of water in here just so the wolf fish is just has his back out of the water enough so we can be able to carry it. All right guys, so we got the stand in place, the bottom tank back on, it's all shimmed up on this side and leveled out. Now you can see that last stand used to stick out to almost this With tile level. here is. Yeah. So now it's pushed in another four inches. It still sticks out, you know, just a hair, but it's way better than it was before. You got a little bit more room here so it's not as intruding into the walkways and uh, it does the job. He's also got the last piece to be able to weld back on here and put the third rack up in the sky. So we're gonna go over there and pick them up and he's also got five more of these stands that he's gonna give to us as well. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and put this 110 up on the stand now. So here we go. Now, have you checked to see which side's the front, if there's anything bad with the front or back of it? I hate these tiles. They're going to flip around. That's a, always a good thing to do. What are you filming? You put your front side forward, and you're good to go. I wasn't asking Josh. I knew he already knew. I'm, I'm asking that out loud so that people will be like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so now the 110's on there, the 75's underneath, awesomeness. What are you doing now, Josh? Open everything up. Alrighty, so we've got the bottom tank back together, airlines hooked back up, we've got the waterfall filter on here, it's now filled with water, now we can start on the 110 up here. Alrighty, the 110 is being filled up, we now got the FX4 back to running, and uh, yeah, got a little cloudy here, but nonetheless it is getting filled, I'm going to go ahead and let this clear up overnight, but Man, gotta do something with these seams. This looks god awful. I gotta cover them, something. Or I might just end up there. might just end up taking it all apart and resealing it myself. I never trust someone else's work. And yes, that is a stab at my friend. You guys heard earlier. But look at that. How are you not gonna take pride in your work and give someone a sealed job like that, man? That's just pitiful. So here we added a whole big old group of water sprite. We're just gonna go ahead and float this in the tank, let it grow, and as it gets to be too much, I'll take it out to the, the big pond. But this will help this tank in water changes. We've got this LED light here. It's got, you know, white and blues on there. For those of you who don't know, and if you have white light, that's, you know, just a broad spectrum. Your plants will grow. They, they won't grow super fast, nor flower. Your blue spectrum helps the, the, the base of the plant, the leaves to, to grow. They will just, you know, multiply fast. And then if you get your red spectrum light, that's the lighting needed for fruiting and flowering. So if you got plants that flower and, you know, they're not doing good, put red light on them. If you just want to see these plants explode and grow quick, you want to have blue light. And always you want white on there just so you can have common growth of all the plants because, you know, your white is red, blues, and all that mixed together. 
So here we go, this is the next day. The tank is now cleaned up, so this is what it's going to look like. I am going to get some substrate in here of some sort. I'm not too sure yet, might do tile. I don't know, but I just don't like the bottom of this tank. Has a little bit, bit of scratches on it, but nonetheless, the fish room quality 110. Only did it to upgrade the fish, not necessarily a show tank. But I do appreciate you guys for stopping in to watch today's video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, the last little bit over here, we've got Pittsburgh stopping in to stay, stay fishy, my friends.